Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody. This is Alon Paul and uh, we're going to kind of do a combo video today. So this video is going to be kind of short. Well, I say kind of. Um, we're doing a rocket chair as you saw in the title. Except this time I have found a wonderful little place. Let me get the door open over here. There we go. Um, we're going to just go into camera mode for a second so I can show you what we're talking about here. And a wonderful little planet with uh, a nice... Uh, beautiful water and wonderful flying creatures and down below I've got my rocket chair right where it needs to be but straight overhead is a moon so we're gonna try taking that rocket chair to the moon all the way through space now I won't be able to take pictures on the way and I won't be able to hit escape or tab or anything else because when I do that and you get back out of the menu it automatically stops your momentum for some reason so we're just gonna go ahead and record it so let me get it started you notice there's a timer on the screen too we're gonna go ahead and time how long it takes for my character to get there this planet is a aggressive sentinel planet so I've had to build a little um, you know domicile here in order to keep away from them temporarily because they are floating around here and there and they will start attacking so we're trying to prevent that from happening matter of fact you can see in the radar up above there's one in that direction right there you know, floating around. So we're going to head straight down there. We're going to swim down and get into the chair, which is something you can do. Let's hurry up. So we're going to get that started, and then we'll do a little chat, chit chat. All right. So I've got the chair set up right there. Let's wait for it to give its first blast, or it's going to blow up while I'm sitting next to it. And while I'm here, I'll just... There we go. Alright, here we go. And, yeah, you can sit down. Now, I got the chair. It should be situated just right. So when it launches us, we should head straight for there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the timer as soon as it starts. As soon as I get launched, if you will. Here we go. Any second. Alright, there's our timer. Alright, so we're going to keep that going and uh, we'll get another blast here in just a moment. So I've actually got a pretty good, yeah, good angle. It's, that's not sending me up on too much of an angle, so that should be good. I should be heading straight for the moon. But of course with the camera the way it is, I can't actually adjust and see the moon while I'm seated. Seated. And that little uh, pop gun down there should go off here in a second time in just a moment. Yep, any second. Right about there it is, which just blasts me right off the picture, of course. But we're still we're still climbing, so you can see the water vapor stream behind my character going up in the air. So I could freeze it and check that out, and that's what I did. Is I, I, I checked it out, and I did a couple of trial runs to make sure I got this right, so that I would make sure I was headed pretty much straight for the planet. Well, moon, in this case. The funniest part, and I've got to share this with you. The funniest part is, of course, this is a new system. I found this planet, landed on it, found the moon, got everything set up. And when I finally was able to achieve exactly what I'm showing you today, and I landed on the other planet safely, stood there great here I am I went ahead and uh, called in my ship and it wasn't until I got in my ship and back out again that it said hey first contact you're the first one to land on the planet which I thought was absolutely hilarious so it kind of throws everything off it breaks the game a little bit <laughs> so needless to say so here we are we're flying along here we're just a couple minutes in so let's share a little bit of news while we're going on so um, got a lot of comments on my last fugitive video that I've been doing in 30 minute segments because I've been doing a lot of other things in 30 minute segments for instance the normal playthroughs and the permadeath playthroughs just to give a rough idea of how to play the game and doing it in 30 minute segments I thought would be better because I have had comments in the past regarding hey an hour an hour and a half two hours that's just way too long the comments I'm getting on the fugitive run though is the opposite everybody wants to see it much longer episodes I'm the minimum the minimal I've seen so far uh, has been 45 minutes some people saying upwards of at least an hour some people have gone even as much as saying a couple of hours so 
really, really good um, info and feedback, and I really appreciate the comments on that. Um, the fugitive run I'm doing, and I've I've been watching very carefully, and some of you know this. I've been watching Beeble Bum's um, initial run. I've uh, been ignoring Jason because, uh, you know, we all know how we feel about Jason. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've been watching a little bit of Jason's videos as well. But mostly I've been watching Beeble Bum because he's the instigator behind all this. He's the one who decided that these are the rules behind it, and it's absolutely fantastic. been enjoying every second of it. So... He changes the rules a little bit or has updated the rules to show certain things. Now, the last one which some people are voting on in this Discord was regarding the fact of whether we could land at an abandoned space station and then leave immediately. Now, I haven't seen his latest on this. I know he's going to be doing another live stream. and He's trying to look for an abandoned system right now. I kind of get the idea of why he's doing it. So... I have in my mind why he might be doing it. I'm not going to admit that I know this because if I'm wrong, I don't want to admit that I'm wrong. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't want to speculate too much. I'm not one for too much speculation. I've done that in the past in regards to other things, and I kind of stay away from it a little bit more now. Uh, I leave that to other people to do that. So the rules are the rules that he states there, and when I every single episode that I do, I'm going to reprint the rules in there as he stated them, and we'll add in the new ones as he's shown them. So really like how this is going it's it's exceptionally challenging it's fun i think that's what's the best part is we have a goal in mind and it is fun so you know jason's sitting there and he's talking about racing him to the center of the galaxy but the point is is that and i'm sure jason has figured this out too as well as beeble bum is looking at your game save and seeing how much time it's taken you to get where you're getting to so in the end, even though this may take me longer because I don't have the ability to do too many live streams, I don't have the ability to do uh, uh, extra long videos because I just don't have that kind of time that these folks have. Um, I work a secular job. I'm gone from my house 50 to 60 hours a week working that secular job. Got a family you got to take care of. And, you know, dinner to cook, house to clean, things like that. So we have other chores that we have to do. So taking time out to do these things, well, it's time out of a schedule that I could spend with my family my family enjoys these videos as well so here we are um we also do minecraft videos as well i do a family minecraft on saturday nights so myself and the kids get together and we play together and sooner or later we're going to be able to combine videos or uh, my oldest kids will have their own channel on youtube and you can watch their versions or from their uh, uh view of how things went with the minecraft games that we play too but no man's sky has just been one of those games um Something I haven't shared in the description, how I started with No Man's Sky, and I'm going to go ahead and share that right now. Um, no Man's Sky was a game that was uh, introduced to me by a friend from work, by, by one of my colleagues at work, who said, I think, you know, you've been playing a game called Freelancer, Microsoft Freelancer, which is early 2000s, um, over and over, and I know you like the idea of being able to explore like that. You like trading games, you like exploring games, things like that. I think you really like No Man's Sky. So I picked it up on sale uh, back in 2019. And I tried it out. Except I tried it in uh, creative mode. And it just didn't make any sense to me. And I didn't know how to play it. And I checked for videos and there wasn't many out there regarding tutorials on how to play No Man's Sky. So I kind of shied away from it for a few months. Then I discovered... And full credit to Jason from Jason Plays. I discovered Jason's videos and started watching his gameplay. And I started to understand how it gets played. I'm like, oh, normal playthrough. I got to go to the normal mode and play it that way. It'll teach me. All right, let me do, do that. And that was the end of it. It was like November of October, November of 2019. I started playing it again and I was sucked into it. And after, you know, 2000 plus hours playing it, um, I am by no means a what might be called a veteran player. I'm still learning new things about the game, especially from others. Beeblebum has taught me so much. Zane from Zane's World, Jason from Jason Plays, of course. Uh, all of them have taught me so much about this game, and I really, really enjoy every aspect of it. You can enjoy it in any way you want. I think that's what attracts me the most about it. It's not just the open gameplay. I can go to any system. I can discover new stuff, but it's the idea that I can literally do it however I want and that's what really the draw for me is is the is the beauty of uh, as I pan around here the beauty of everything around me this is fantastic absolutely fantastic and I really enjoy this I got to keep my eyes open because I should be approaching the planet soon I think 
don't know how long it'll take. But anyway, so that has been the draw for me for this game, and I've been playing it ever since. So I started recording videos, of course, in late October, I believe it was. It was late October, early November of last year, 2022. So it's been just about six months now, and I have not stopped. I've really enjoyed it. I've got, you know, well over 100 videos now, and I'm just, I enjoy doing them. I enjoy doing them for the, for the sake of sharing the enjoyment. I talk to people at work about it. I show them how things are going. I, I've, uh, we've shared information back and forth. Incoming storm. I know it'd be interesting, an interesting coming storm in space. Hope it doesn't get too hot out here. Anyway, so that conversation's always led to how do you do it? How do we do it? Can we get together? We share our friend codes, things like that. We've had a great time. Had a great time discussing it. They keep trying to get me into other games like Valheim. Um, uh, several other games, of course. I've played them. I've enjoyed them. Am I going to stream them? Am I going to produce videos on them? Probably not. I'm probably going to be sticking to No Man's Sky. There is a game coming out in the fall, which I'm not going to mention here because that's not the place to be mentioning it. Uh-oh. What just happened? We're still moving. Okay, that's good. Oh, I wonder if that means we're getting close. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, that is the space station. Is that hilarious or what? Everything's still moving from what I can see. I don't see the particle effects, but that may mean that we're getting close to where we're going. Or because of the storm, maybe the storm is blocking out the particle effects. So I think we're still climbing. I guess we're going to find out. All right, we'll keep this going. So that is the draw of this game for me. This is why I enjoy it and why I enjoy making the videos. And I really appreciate everybody's comments in regard to that. Uh, I think Beeble Bum is hilarious. I think him calling my voice uh, like butter, especially in the mornings. You know, when you get to later in the day when I've been talking all day at work and supervising people and yelling at everybody. Yeah, uh, you know, after a while, your voice gets a little worn out. But I've really enjoyed doing this and I hope you've enjoyed the videos as much as I've had uh, making them. For everybody not just for myself I make it for myself of course too but I enjoy it for the sake of sharing it with everybody else and sharing the uh, the fun I'm having with this so uh, I'm gonna keep looking around here every now and then isn't that awesome go ahead and do your own screenshots if you like pause the video and take a screenshot of that huh look at that screen flares Wow I mean honestly wow this is pretty pretty cool stuff Anyway, so again, the enjoyment of the whole thing, right? So that's what's going on here. So again, like I said, uh, as to get a little bit personal, not to give too, too much away, but yes, I have a, I have a secular job. I work a regular 40 hour week like everybody else. I supervise a team of people uh, to make it a little more personal. I guess I can tell you that I am in technical support. So yeah, mm, supervise a team of people and we have to answer calls from people who well, don't want to read too often. Uh, in all honesty, you, we probably about a good 20 to 30 percent of our calls are legitimate. Hey, there's a problem with this and it's broken and we have to fix it and we have to help them fix it. Or we have to send parts out, things like that. Um, probably it's probably a larger percentage than I'm making it out to be. But there are so many people out there. And as time goes by, you realize that there are so many people out there who just simply don't want to do much of anything but to let other people do it for them or to hold their hand to get through through things and it's sad but it's not everybody and you know who the people aren't there aren't people who play games like this there aren't people here you people are a special type of people you're the creative group you're the creative geniuses behind the games that are made for us uh like in hello games and stuff like that these are people who think outside the box and the people i enjoy uh on my groups and on my teams and we're not all the same we're not cookie cutter people you know it, it, we're not the same we're, we're, we're definitely uh, gonna have our differences and our uh, viewpoints are gonna be different on many different levels but you know this is definitely enjoyable so, needless to say that's where we are um, up and coming future uh, will there be obviously there's gonna be more videos coming out especially over the weekend Will there be any live streams and the answer to that question is yes I plan on doing at least one or two live streams coming up not in the too distant future it will be soon but I can't guarantee when um, 
possibly Memorial Day uh, here in the U.S., that is. That's good. that's the last Monday of the month, um, of the month of May, that is. So that day I might do it in the morning and stream for a couple of hours or so. If there is an expedition coming up, I will likely do that stream either on a Friday night or a Saturday night, depending upon which, uh, which would be more convenient. Um, and we'll stream the expedition. I will probably play it first to get a rough idea how things are done, and then we'll stream it, and I'll show you folks how, how to get through it. Um, I might even watch a couple other videos on it myself. Uh, Zane is always a good one for putting out like, like a 5 to 10 minute video on, hey, here's how to do the expedition, which he shows it step by step along the way in highlights, and he narrates from behind, which is really a fabulous way to do that. Pretty high up there, huh? Look at the, look at the colors and the stars and everything. That really is amazing. Then you see the planet has transitioned to nighttime where we took off from. That, by the way, is a sentinel pillar, which happens to be on planet, it says, which I think is hilarious. It's not telling me it's off planet because, well, I guess I'm the one that's really off planet, aren't I? So, where's our space station? There we are. So, I'm pretty sure we may still be climbing. It's hard to tell. I think we are. Because that, mo that planet was below the rings a little bit ago. And the rings are climbing up or down, if you will, to obscure it more. And I don't think we're getting closer to the planet. So that's a good thing. And it's not until we get closer to that moon that it's really going to start making an impact. I want to say it took 20 minutes, if I remember correctly, and we're about... As you can see by the timer, over 14 minutes into this, so probably in the next five minutes or so, we'll get there. So, and if you haven't seen some of my live streams, they are, if you go to the channel on any channel, anybody's channel that you go to, um, you have home and videos, and then there's always live. And those live streams will be put there in place. You can check them anytime you want. They will not, and they will never usually be put into the video section by YouTube. So, if you want to check out a couple live streams, and you can focus on that a little bit so yeah see we're well below that so we are still climbing good 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 so it was the storm that occurred on the planet that got rid of my trail so that's good just wanted to make sure otherwise we're just sitting here in space floating around not doing anything so the, the moon in question is not outside the rings so we should be up oh, there it is there it is there's the planet there's the moon and there I am. What do you know? Yep. Hi there. Oh, look at that. So we are actually possibly going to... Oh, let's get the get the stream. All right, we're actually... I think we're headed straight towards it. Because there's the stream of vapor. That's really good. So we may be heading straight for the moon right now. Now you see over there, I kind of put another base. That's where I landed the first time I attempted this. So look at that. We're exactly 16 minutes into the fall right now, and we're approaching the moon, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Now because it's a moon, in case you all didn't know this, every planet in the stars that are created in Hello, Hello Games, uh, every planet in the system in No Man's Sky has a set amount of abandoned buildings, uh, what do you call it, uh, trade stations, things like that. Every planet, and that includes moons, which means the same amount you find on a planet is condensed and put onto a moon as well. So you find, you find more of these places all over the planet's surface. Now one thing, since I'm headed straight for the planet, the one thing I had to do on the last one over there is I had to jet down. So... I'm going to see what happens. I mean, I'm not going to die. I should just hit the planet's surface and stay there. And I don't even think it will damage me. So I'm going to let it go all the way here. We're passing through clouds. Oh, got to watch the timer. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, crap. Where am I? Guess what? There we go. Okay, so we hit it in about 17 minutes. 
with no damage. We actually passed through. It didn't know what to do, and we literally passed through the surface of the moon. And it fixed it by putting me back on the surface real quick. So you don't hit your jetpack. You have to stand up first before you can hit your jetpack. So we have literally landed on the planet in 17 minutes. Is this not the coolest thing ever? How far away is that? I'm <laughs> 30 minutes away. <laughs> well, I guess I could walk it, or I could call my, my, my ship in. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and call the ship in. Uh, let me get away from all this. Oh, those are neat things, aren't they now? Wow, look at that. That is one of the neatest flying creatures I've seen in a while. The tendrils coming off. That's pretty. Anyway. Let's get over here. I know. Now, is it an incoming storm here or on the other planet? <laughs> Who knows? Let's call on my sentinel. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the storm isn't here, apparently. Because you notice it doesn't give me any weather update at the bottom left corner. It still thinks it's 9060. It's climbing really, really hot right now. Let's see what happens when I jump in and out, though. Okay. Okay, good deal. Alright, yeah, it is actually here. Okay. And it recognizes that I'm on the planet. So there you are. Not bad for 17 minutes, huh? Where'd my, uh, yeah, there it is. Let's head over here. This is my, like I said, my original landing point. So this is pretty cool. Not bad. This time I didn't even have to hit my jetpack to approach the planet. So that is really cool. The first time I had to hit the jetpack and head over here, I actually landed near a minor settlement. Oop, almost hit some trees there. I did hit some trees there. Didn't register that. see it. There it is. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and call the video here. I thought you all would might enjoy this. Go ahead and hit that like button if you really like what we saw here. I'm going to go inside here. A little too loud out there. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, lots more coming in the future, folks. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See you over the weekend. We've got the Anomaly video tomorrow night, the Anomaly mission uh, on Friday night. And then we'll have, uh, I'm going to probably do a good long video of the Fugitive Run. I'll probably do it in one hour, maybe a little longer segments, and we'll go from there. Again, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Take care.